And now we're in a position to talk about fear. We'll uh, do the first uh, uh, fear acquaintance kind of exercise for, each, uh, for all of us. So how are we going to do that? First and very easy one is by means of breathing. Why? Because this is the most primary. Our life in the nutshell is first inhale, then we live, then we exhale and we die. Any interruption of breathing psychologically is equivalent to starting to approaching death. And this is why during the breath hold your body starts to protest that it starts writing from the inside. Have you guys tried the breath uh, holding breath before? Everybody? Основные правила. Key rules are this, you let a breath out from uh, your lungs, you relax your uh, muscles inside your body, you don't expel the air, you allow it to leave your body, there's a difference. You don't want to tense yourself, you don't, don't need that. Imagine that you're a balloon, a balloon is just deflating by itself. Then you close this valve here in the throat and just wait. So what do you do as you wait? Focus 100% of your attention on you internally or in other words on your feelings and, sens and sensations bodily. Your thoughts may be quite negative at this point. That's normal, don't give them any energy. Your willpower should be collected. And find a place in your body that is the radiation, the source of that radiating fear. Find that source of what is first uh, uh, some fear and then it becomes panic. Here's a secret. It's not steady, it's wave-like. It goes up and down. It's like surfing. You'd ride the first wave if you resist or if you allow it to happen actually. It's going to be much easier to ride the second one. <laughs> then the second wave of panic comes in, the third one. Just hold on. The correct feeling is that when the, fe the fear travels from the upper part of the body into your middle section and even into your causing shaking of your hips. Nothing terrible is going to happen to you, don't be afraid, it's not damaging. If you feel that the panic took over, that's fine, then you just start breathing using your burst breathing, like this. And as you're breathing, it's not just lungs, it's a whole body engaged in this process of breathing. The time during which you exercise this burst breathing should be at least two and preferably, preferably three times longer than the time of the hold. Don't force that breathing, don't stop that burst breathing. You will see it's going to vanish by itself and at that point you will have no desires, no feelings, it's going to be, you'll be empty and the, the breathing will stop by itself. And if you, when you start breathing, your first inhale should not be this kind of a panicky, super strong inhale. No. I'll explain later on, make it short. Lay down and relax.